Hi, I am Jess, an AI podcast host for One More Thing in AI. Wish you a happy Lunar New Year. In this episode we will cover, Dawn of Humanoid Robots, Revolutionizing the Workspace with Figure AI. Then we will speak about Whiff of Innovation, Enos is Powered by AI. We will end by talking about AI Showdown, Google vs. OpenAI. Alright, let us start. Dawn of Humanoid Robots, Revolutionizing the Workspace with Figure AI. Imagine stepping into a warehouse or manufacturing floor where your colleagues are robots working alongside you. This isn't a scene from a sci-fi movie, it's the future that Figure AI Inc. is crafting. I am a bit starstruck by the founder, Brett Adcock, who has previously founded Archer Aviation, which aims to revolutionize urban air mobility. I think he is the nicer version of Elon Musk and doing equally significant endeavors. With a significant 500 million US dollars funding round in the pipeline, led by tech giants Microsoft and OpenAI, Figure AI is on the brink of transforming industrial spaces with its humanoid robots. See the video below showing the Figure 01 demo. Founded in 2022, Figure AI has embarked on a journey to disrupt the traditional market for industrial robots. The current landscape is dominated by purpose-built, boxy robots that, while functional, don't blend well into environments designed for humans. Enter Figure 01, Figure AI's autonomous humanoid robot, designed to operate seamlessly alongside human workers, efficiently tackling repetitive and hazardous tasks. For instance, a partnership with luxury car manufacturer BMW sees these robots poised to automate intricate, unsafe, or monotonous tasks in automotive manufacturing. This collaboration will kick off in a South Carolina factory. Why does it matter? The concept of humanoid robots is not entirely new. Tesla's Optimus and Agility Robots incorporate its experiments in Amazon Warehouse's hint at the interest in robotics that mimic human capabilities. Yet, what sets Figure AI apart is its ambition to mainstream these robots commercially. Brett Adcock, the visionary founder of Figure AI, emphasizes the untapped potential of general-purpose robotics. According to him, the advent of humanoid robots like Figure 01 is more than augmenting productivity or reducing costs. It's about ushering in a new era where the workplace is safer, more efficient, and harmoniously shared between humans and robots. As wages rise in the US and other developed economies, Figure AI targets a large target market, think of the many factory workers employed in our economies. These robots will take away several dangerous jobs that humans do today. Whiff of innovation, Enos is powered by AI. I enjoy drinking coffee, perhaps a bit too much. I particularly enjoy the strong flavors and aromas of Central American and Ethiopian coffee. So, this AI-powered device caught my attention. The seed of an idea. Each coffee bean carries a unique flavor profile shaped by its origin, climate, and processing. Arabica is different from Robusta, Kenyan coffee is different from Guatemalan, and so on. However, these flavor profiles are changing in the face of climate change. Enter the Enos, a device capable of accurately distinguishing coffee aromas. The tech behind the aroma. How does this Enos work? It's a fusion of traditional sensors and cutting-edge AI. The device uses metal semiconductor oxide sensors to identify specific molecules in the coffee's aroma. This data is then processed by an AI algorithm, distinguishing between different coffee varieties, with up to 98% accuracy. A global palette. Researchers are compiling a digital library of coffee aromas from around the globe. This library is a benchmark for understanding how environmental changes affect coffee flavors. This is a step towards ensuring that my favorite cup of Colombian coffee remains consistent. Why does it matter? The same team behind the Enos envisions a future where electronic tongues, eyes, computer vision, and even tactile systems join the fray. All these will be powered by AI. These technologies could revolutionize how we perceive and enjoy our coffee and other foods. In the not-too-distant future, you could have a full sensory experience of consuming food that could be delivered through the internet or a device like the Apple Vision Pro. AI Showdown, Google vs. OpenAI. Analysis, the AI leadership race heats up. According to the chatbot arena leaderboard, Google's Bard, powered by Gemini Pro, becomes the first to outshine OpenAI's GPT-4. With its extensive database of over 200,000 human preference votes, this platform now positions Bard in a close second to GPT-4 Turbo. Is there a hint of a potential shift in AI dominance? The numbers speak. Bard's ascent to the top rungs symbolizes the rapid advancements Google is making in AI technology. Despite Bard operating on the Gemini Pro model, which is not Google's flagship AI, 
its performance leap suggests that the forthcoming Gemini Ultra could surpass the GPT-4 turbo capabilities. There is a reason why Sam Altman speaks about the coming of GPT-5, OpenAI cannot afford to rest on their laurels. The anticipation builds as OpenAI gears up for the release of GPT-5, which could redefine the benchmarks once again. Meanwhile, Meta's rumored introduction of Llama 3 could add another layer of complexity to the competition. Why does it matter? Some industry insiders speculate about a future where AI models converge in performance, transforming the competitive landscape. Already, chatbots like Perplexity use multiple LLMs at the back end. This shift could turn the spotlight away from the models themselves and towards the applications they empower. The value lies in the application of AI models and not in the models themselves. All right, that is it from me for this edition of the One More Thing in AI podcast. Don't forget to subscribe to the show on your favorite podcast platform to get the latest in AI and give us a rating if you liked this episode. I know that Renjit will appreciate it. Bye-bye.